We're gonna take the key. We can use the first button to lock the car and press and hold to close the windows as well. Unlock the car and open the windows and use the last button to open the trunk. So let's unlock the car first. We're gonna open the door, then close it. Push the start and step button. Welcome effect in the instrument cluster and in the hat unit. We're then gonna push the button a second time. Once the system is ready, we're going to be starting things off with the instrument cluster and the steering wheel. On the left, we find two volume buttons, as well as media controls to go back and forth between radio stations or different tracks. We can use the voice assist, a home button for the left tube, we can scroll up or down, or click to make a selection, or use the return button on the left. On the right, we can activate and deactivate different advanced driving assistance systems. For example, limiter and intelligent limiter, ACC. In order to activate the limiter, we have to activate the ACC first. Set, cancel, and resume. Increase the speed or decrease it. Change the distance to the car in front of us. Activate the lane keep assist or also use steering wheel heating. So let's move on to the IC. The right side of the IC is analog while the left side is digital. If we click the home button on the steering wheel, the menu is opened in the left tube. We can go through the different menu options. Then select Customize Display and select or deselect menu options we want to have displayed in the instrument cluster. This way we can personalize the IC. So let's move over to the hat unit next. Honda went back on using at least some hard keys on the left side. While we have a display on the right. The home screen contains an upper as well as a lower bar. Those are static and will be available no matter what feature is selected. All apps contains an overview of all apps available. We can again select and deselect what we want displayed on the home screen pages. The home screen itself consists of three different pages. In the upper bar, we can change the audio source or open the last used radio station or audio source. An active phone call would be displayed in the upper bar as well. We can check the system status or select clock, which is also available in the app menu. We can use the home button to jump back to the first page of the home screen at any time. The lower bar consists of frequently used apps. We can drag and drop different shortcuts to the lower bar or change their position. We can get advice on what to do and how to edit the different icons and applications. In addition, we can rearrange the icons and apps in the upper part.
there is no reset button, we can only click done. However, we then have to restore the order, which doesn't seem too user friendly. So let's have a look at our main features, for example, navigation. We have phone, as well as radio and media sources. On the second page, settings, which is divided into general settings and vehicle settings. Up next is the center console. So let's move down a little further. Drive modes are first. We're going to check out the IC when we push forward. Sport mode. As well as normal. And eco and back to normal once again. Up next is the gear shift. Put the car in reverse first. The camera is automatically activated. We have three different views for the rear view camera, as well as a top view on the right side. Neutral, Drive, and B, which makes it feel like you're driving an electric vehicle. Back to Park. To wrap things up, we're going to turn the system off. Then take the key and lock the car. 